You know, every Fortnite player will have their own different play style, and not knowing how to counter them may just end up ruining your chances at a victory royale. You know, each type of play style has something that really makes players, you know, either good and bad, and, and with a little bit of practice and some extra knowledge, you're gonna be able to easily counter them all. You know, we know that some players might be a little bit annoying to really play against, but with today's video, you're gonna know all the counter strategies to get the advantage against your enemies. Bunch of crunch Tommy, where you at? Your motivation guy, that's right, I am back. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to counter every playstyle in Fortnite. You guys ready for this? I hope you are. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so first up is definitely one of the most annoying players to fight against. The camper playstyle is very annoying to fight against, but the ability to counter it is even easier. First of all, the camper will usually be very scared to fight others, which explains why they're always hiding. You know, these players always sit in a bush or box up far away from others and act like every arena game is a qualifier to the World Cup. <laughs> Obviously, you know, that's just not the case. And these players just need to have a little bit more confidence and, you know, really improve their fighting skills. These players also have the best patience in the world though, and will sit in a box till you make a dumb mistake. For example, the camper always boxes up as soon as they see an enemy and never actually tries just ramping them up or, you know, controlling them from height. They will wait for you to drop, you know, box you up and take right hand peeks so they can't risk taking too much damage. This playstyle is actually very easy to counter and just requires you to have a lot of patience and for you to utilize your angles to outplay them. Keep spraying them with your AR or SMG and just make them waste all their mats until they're just in an uncomfortable spot. Never drop down on the same layer as them as they're just always waiting to box you up. As long as you can keep spraying guys and make sure that they don't edit on you, you're gonna be fine. So an even easier way to counter a player who boxes up is by utilizing bows and stinkfish. If you happen to land in an area with plentiful fishing spots, you should always pick up some stinkfish, all right? Stinkfish have a huge area of impact and this will force them to panic and waste all their mats. If they aren't the smartest player, you can also deal at least 25 damage to them and you know, which will allow you to easily kill them. Utilize stink bows, man, or stink fish and force them to run out of their box. After, you can easily claim double edits over them and peace control for a free kill. So while doing this, just make sure that they don't double edit on you and they're gonna be just fine. All right, to learn how to defeat any Fortnite player, guys, head on over to ProGuys.com. Our army of pro coaches are ready and waiting to help you improve fast. They're gonna play alongside of you to give you tailor-made training so you can target your weak spots. All right, bunch of crunch time. I hope you guys are still here. Next up is one of the best players you're definitely gonna fight, but will usually win against by outsmarting them. The Zero Ping W Keer will always be the player with the best mechanics and decent aim. However, these players are also overconfident and are usually very impatient. They will always try to spam you and, you know, jump into your box. You know, their low ping allowing their bullets to just shred your bills with ease so that they can just simply replace your walls before you can even know what's going on. Because of all of this, you need to play like the previous play style that we talked about, but just be a little smarter with your positioning. These players will usually have their pump out and just look to really take your seals off so they can just jump straight into your box. This play style is actually really easy to counter though. You know, whenever someone is being really aggressive and just wants to get right up in your face, you should always expand outwards and build one or two boxes behind you and place cones. This will allow you to run away, take your wall, and make sure that, you know, they don't trap you. Edit your cones to give you an extra wall of protection and heal up if you take any damage. So you need to make sure, guys, that your opponent makes a really stupid play and just gives you the upper hand. Speaking of which, like, you know, when your opponent is pressuring you and they're trying to get into your box, just catch them off guard by editing the wall to your left. After, quickly bait them by editing right where they are and just right hand peek them. This allows you to have, you know, a really easy shot on them and will always win you the fight. All right, moving on. Let's say that your opponent isn't trying to jump in and is just playing really, really safe on height and just trying to take all your walls while you're trying to heal. Okay, so a great way to counter this, guys, is by building a full box and actually healing behind the box. This strategy helps you win easily whenever your opponent is playing aggressively and can even work in other game modes, not just solos. So make sure that you place a ramp facing your opponent inside the box and hide behind the back wall after resetting it. Your opponent will drop down to the side because of your ramp and you have a really easy right or just left hand peek to take. All right, so to recap this, make sure that you're always expanding outwards, guys, and have a backup plan. Never go for a risky edit play when they are looking right at you and as this is what your enemy is waiting for. 
Bunch of crunch on me. Okay, guys, it's time for the question of the day. All right, today we want to know something that, you know, enemy players do that really makes you mad. Like, do you get angry at overbuilding or do you just hate it when someone gets away to heal? Let us know in the comments below and we're definitely going to check it out. All right, let's get back to the video. You know, one of the most annoying playstyles to fight this season is the runner, the guy who never stops building. These types of players always waste their mats and panic build everywhere. These guys love to take fights though, but instantly run away if they get hit for more than 50 damage. They never stop building and never look to shoot their opponent in any way. You know, when you're fighting this playstyle, you're gonna realize it and you know, you probably think to yourself like, did this guy forget how to shoot this gun? Like, you're not alone. You know, and it's just really frustrating to play against these type of playstyles. They will literally build till their mats are gone, which definitely just grieves both of your games since you won't have any mats to really fight a third party. So these players will look to get into a car and find some type of mobility like a rip from an NPC. Obviously, the best way to counter this playstyle is to not let them run. Try your best to get close to them and just keep blocking them off with walls and cones. So practicing your peace control is just very important, guys. It'll definitely help you a lot in this situation. By just knowing where to put your builds, you can easily just cut them off and just have them full box. Never let them drive away and try your best to stop them. If they somehow get away, don't chase them unless you're just completely sure that, you know, there aren't any other players nearby. Along with peace controlling them, spray their builds and just try getting in on them, you know, as they will most likely not even expect it. Also, utilize the no relief cone phase and just confuse your opponent. When your opponent is in the perfect position, just pressure them till they are forced to box up, reposition themselves, and heal. Okay, so after they fully box up, you can do this trick as long as, you know, they don't put a cone in their box. Just quickly run up to the right side of their wall, crouch, and uncrouch right as, you know, you place the cone. This trick allows your cone to go straight through your opponent's box and allows you to peace control them without any effort. All right, guys, so next up is the Cray playstyle. And guess what? You can't counter this one. Bunch of crumbs, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And now you know exactly what to do when you run into one of these playstyles next time. Remember every tip, man, and just practice your own skills so you can win every fight that you come across. Make sure you guys take your time, man, to study each of these playstyles and just implement something useful, you know, into your own games. And you guys can do this. You know, speaking of which, you know, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks as well. You know, get better, man. Keep grinding, keep improving. If you guys liked the video, subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'm so proud of you guys. I believe in you guys. I'm your number one fan. Peace.